Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. We have exciting news because we just came out with Remedy 3. It's uh, new and improved. We built it from the ground up and based on all your helpful feedback, we really hope you are excited and enjoy it. So without further ado, we're going to be in a fresh FL Studio project. I'm going to open a plugin, search for Remedy 3. The VST3. Click that, it pops up. Here's the fresh new interface we have. So you can see basically I'll take you through it, but first we want to make sure that it's connected to a uh, virtual instrument. So we're going to search for any, any VST you like. We're going to look at the Piano V2 so that we can route it to Remedy and get some sound. We got our piano preset. Now we're going to go into the settings so that we can go to the MIDI input port, set it to 1. Next we have the output port. From Remedy it's going to be going out the MIDI is going to be sent in to the input port of Piano V2. Now we're here with the new interface. So this is exciting. We, like I said, got a lot of feedback. We got the factory MIDI, which is what you're used to if you used Remedy 2. So all that's the same. And it's in a similar location on the left and if you want to just click in him you got jazz we'll try open hymnal so you can just scroll through when you click on a file it loads immediately in the in the preview or over here you can change the zoom level so you can really see the preview frame you click on that you hear it right away you can scroll, search around. That's, That's actually good. a pretty cool sample, so if you find something you like, it's as easy as clicking, dragging it onto a pad, dropping it, boom. It goes right into the editor down here, so that when you click on a pad... So, I just wanted to show that you could zoom, and now... What we want to do is go into the settings of Remedy because we have it hooked up the way we want it to the instrument, the piano. So you go to settings and you can turn off the internal sound. That's the sine wave that allows you to just preview without hooking it up to any instrument. But we don't want to hear that right now. So now you could just hear the piano. So yeah, Remedy, it's it allows you to quickly find um samples of midi kind of like an audio sampler but it's midi so you can just scroll through you can even go up and down with your qwerty keyboard i'm pressing down it's immediately playing and you can go to the right with your qwerty keyboard just navigate even scrub up here so it really gives you a bird's eye view of the complete MIDI file that you have loaded in and then you have the view down here that allows you to uh, you know change the zoom and get the right size that you want even move the frame of the previewer even resize it so you can capture more and you could even change the previewer as I showed the size that's another way of doing it click divide by two multiply by two or you can even divide the speed in half so you can get a feel that you want like the the correct speed so that you can make whatever kind of music you want. You can even transpose it. 
it's all live in real time, which is really cool. All right, so now that we got that overview finished off, we're going to take a look at the bottom section in more detail with the clip editor and the tools. So let's just say that you, um, you want to take a different approach to making a melody. It's more from scratch and not coming from having previewed any MIDI and finding something that you can start from. So now we'll, we'll just start off by putting some notes in directly into a pad. So we'll click on this pad to select it for um, editing. And then we'll just put in, yeah, perfect, A2. Sounds good, so you can just play that right away. It loops automatically, kind of like Remedy 2 would. And uh, basically you can give yourself more real estate to work with. So the editor clip size right here, you can double it. And maybe I'll try, maybe I'll try eight beats. So now I'll just try to like, give myself a nice long chord here. Well, it's not a chord yet, but if I can just put one more note on top of that A2. Okay, so that's, that's a bit too close to be able to fill in a chord. So I'm just going to right click on that note, plus 12 octave it up. And that sounds nice because it's a nice minor third. I'm going to be working in the key of A minor because that's all the, the white notes, as they would say, on the keyboard. So yeah, so the first thing when you got your your two notes that are going to be the kind of like outer limits of your chord, you have them selected, you go over to this harmony tool, which is completely new in Remedy 3. And uh, you can see that we have different voicing sets here. And the one we're going to showcase in this video mainly is the, the collaboration we did with Musician Paradise. And he makes really good, authentic sounding voicings of jazz and uh, neo-soul kind of chord progressions. So our, our engine is kind of like powered by his real human-made um, neo-soul voicings. So we'll just select that one and... The chord type and voicing are pretty self-explanatory. You just toggle between chord types and it just fills it in automatically and you can hear it right away. I'm right now I'm I'm triggering the pad uh, with the actual C negative two mapping that's in place. So I'm using a, a MIDI controller right now. So anytime I press the C negative two, it lights up the pad and plays the sequence asso associated with that pad. And you can still keep trying different chords until you get something. Like that's a nice sounding uh, A minor seven chord. It doesn't really say anything like A minor seven, but um, the beauty of it is you mostly just have to use your ears and stay within a key that you're familiar with and it's hard to go wrong because the chords are organized to uh, kind of favor the the best sounding voicings for those two outer notes, so A and C4. So that sounds good. I think I, what I want to do is just go to like a five, so it's like A to E. So we'll get that E2 in there and we'll also do a note that sounds good with it would be yeah let's try that so I just wanted to get like the the outer voices to sound really nice together and it, because I'm using E and B you're 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 within that five chord of E minor but you don't have to know that much theory. You just have to use your ears and know that you have to just prepare the chord accordingly. <laughs> All right, so then basically try a different chord here until you find something that uh, sort of like fits within all the white notes. So you can see these G sharps, F sharps, maybe won't go so good with A minor. And uh, here, look, now 
we have all um, white notes. There's no accidentals. You have E, D, G, A, B. And you can keep trying different ones. That sounds good. Let's just try something different. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, I like that. All right, so it's like, basically, if you're happy with that, you have the foundation for your melody. And um, what you can do is, if, if you don't feel like it's spaced out enough or the notes aren't long enough, there's no problem there. You can always use the um, utility tool to change the time, either like contract it or expand it. Just remember to change your clip size. So it's very slower, but I could also, because te like Remedy is very much synced to your DAW's tempo, which is nice. So you could just go to like 165 or something and, and then because it's so drawn out, you can start using the other tools. You can start adding movement. So if you want, you can go to something like the strum tool and just dial in a strum it could be as much as you want so that sounds good all right so then now you can move on to another tool that helps you make your melody which is <laughs> titled the melody tool and um, you can choose a quantized type which will make the notes split into notes that are quantized at a certain amount like one beat or half a beat or even triplets because you could do something like a third beat or a sixth beat so we'll try we'll try just like one beat because we have a long drawn out uh, progression choose between zero and one or more splits so you can go dial in your splits And you can keep randomizing, so you'll find something. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, the tools that help you uh, create a melody from almost scratch. You're just getting help a little bit with the harmony tool, the melody tool to split up the notes. And there's a few more tools I haven't shown, like the humanize. That could be something we could do at the at the end when we want to add some authentic feel like you change the timing just jitter the notes a little bit and velocity tension to you know create a bit more of dynamics in your chords there you go Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll be coming out with a lot more stuff so that you can use Remedy 3 and all of its features to make more tracks and uh, just enjoy music making. So thank you.